Hello and welcome back to History Duo Two Question Marks. And today I am going to be doing an impression video on uh, most of my impressions that I have. Uh, a decent amount of them are just like little things that change, like the pant color and like if I have a jacket on or a necktie or whatever like that would need to be changed or like the color of the pistol belt, which you guys don't really need to see. That's kind of boring. Unless you do, you can just tell me since most of you guys have my number. So, uh, yeah, just enjoy the video and we'll get right into it. Also, just remember to, uh, like this video because it takes a lot. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot of time to make these videos. That's why I am very hesitant to put on, like, the trousers and the, not the trousers, the, uh, wool pants and the gaiters. Because it takes a long time to do that and it is, like, 11 o'clock at night right now and I am very tired. That's why my hair is all weird. It's because I'm just really tired. And I just felt like, why not make a video? So, yeah. All right. Back in the frame. This is just my around camp impression for uh, just late war, like 19, like November post D-Day impression. I got my HUT cap on, white shirt. Before that, they'd have the like tank top kind of thing. It's just a white shirt. And then I have my rough up boots on. But right there. Eesh. And so yeah, I don't have a jacket on or anything, just this. And then what's funny is you could bend the hat front up to make it look really weird. But yeah. All right. This is my next impression. So this is a, uh, just a general US GI impression throughout the course of the war. We got the uh, tanker jacket, since I'm second armored. We got a 1916 camera, so it's good for World War One and to be like a little old for World War II. GP bag, cartridge belt, all this fun stuff. And then just do a little spin around uh, and then we got my, of course, all famous, all well known M1 helmet. And so, and uh, if you want me to, I can just open up the camera and it'll look like that. And I'd take some photos of the beach landing and stuff. But of course, I do not have film for this 100 plus year old camera, so. Me and my friends restored it and everything, so it works really nice now. But yeah, I got my British gas mask bag, uh, GP bag, uh, HPT trousers, and then the same rough out boots. <sighs> but no gaiters because I don't feel like spending 20 minutes to put them on and then take them back off. I can do the same impression with wool trousers that I have right over here. Yeah. These are my wool trousers. In case it's a little bit colder event, but I will not do that because I don't want to take all this off, put on pants, like a different pair of pants, and then put all this stuff back on. So you could just use your imagination for wool pants. But then, yeah, I'll do some more impressions. And this is my uh, Battle of the Bulge impression. Got the scarf around the M1 helmet. You'd either have a uh, a white shirt in this thing kind of as a cover and then my cartridge belt and i got my gp bag attached to my thing because you wouldn't want many straps on you just want to drop everything at once if you got into combat it wouldn't be so tied down soldiers would have realized that's easier to just drop stuff quickly than before so still like the same gear uh i once again would be actually wearing wool pants but i'm not because it's too much also, sorry for the Seinfeld, uh, but it's just a lot of stuff. My bed is covered in all my stuff right now. So, but yeah, I can just do a little turn around kind of thing. And then that's gonna be that. And of course the ever increasing and ever popular and ever cool video game character. This is where we throw away all of the militaries planning for comfortable maneuverability and throw it out the window for whatever looks the coolest. 
We got two belts on. We got the uh, pistol belt with a holster on my chest. Uh, then we got this bag right here, the British Lightweight Gas Mist bag, GP bag, all this stuff. And then, yeah, we just put everything on here, once again, camera, because it looks really cool. So just completely untactical if you saw someone marching around on the field like this, just going like that, marching around. It'll be like, ugh, because you can't really move like this because we're just throwing all the careful planning of the U.S. military out the window. So, and we just want to see what looks cool. So this is what you'd see if it's like a kid that wants to look as decked out as possible. I am not one of those kids. I just wear what is more comfortable and what's period correct for what I'm told. Uh, but yeah, just everything's green for the video game character because according to video games, every military uniform is green no matter what era. Yeah, we got these chin straps just dangling because they look more tactical that way. So, yeah, the video game character. Is everybody happy? Cried the sergeant looking up. Our hero feebly answered yes, and then they stood him up. He jumped into the icy blast, his static line and hook, and he ain't gonna jump no more.